Wexler. We demystify what goes on behind the therapy room door. Join us on this voyage of discovery and co-creative conversations. This is The Therapy Show, Behind Closed Doors podcast, with Bob Cook and Jackie Jones. Welcome back to the next episode of The Therapy Show, Behind Closed Doors, with myself, Jackie Jones. And instead of the wonderful Bob Cook, I've got my bestie, Julie Lewis, who we're going to talk about the growth of equine therapy, because that's something that we both do. I'm the people person and Julie's the horsey person. Um, so, do you want to just introduce yourself and say a little bit about what you do? Yeah, I'm Julie Lewis. I'm a VHS um, AI, so I'm an instructor. That's how it all starts, I suppose. So, I not only teach riding and teach people how to look after the horses and look after horses and train horses and do all that kind of thing, um, I also work with equine guided therapy, which is horse therapy, not for the horses, for humans via the horses so Jackie and I both work together doing that yeah. there you go absolutely and it's, it's relatively new in this country <laughs> isn't it I think it's been going in America for a lot longer and you went on a holiday in America I'd asked you about this years ago <laughs> and you were like no nah, nobody's going to want that and then you went on holiday to America and came back and you were like actually <laughs> maybe yeah. Yeah, I went on a holiday, on a ranching holiday, which was nothing to do with equine therapy or anything else, but it happened to be a retreat which dealt with all kinds of people with all kinds of issues, problems, worries, concerns. And on that retreat, they did a lot of equine guided therapy stuff. Um, and so I, I spent a, a week or 10 days there with the lady that was running that and sort of getting very deep into what, what goes on and seeing some of the results and talking to her kind of made me think go on then I will Jackie you've been nagging me for ages so let's bring this to the UK there are a few people out there already doing it but it's relatively unheard of I think it's getting better yeah um, Kate Moss or one of them one of the models has got into it as well and supporting so it is getting bigger and bigger Stella McCartney just, evidently as well she's started doing that's it she's right yeah that's yeah that's Stella that's McCartney. But there's, there's, there's a lot of big names doing it not that it needs a name no um, that need it need it and it, a lot of people don't know they need it until they've done it um and it's it's i my background in horses is very different obviously and as you said jack i wasn't really really ready to take this at yeah. all i was a bit more of, mm -hmm. and i still i still don't do psychotherapy i'm not a psychotherapist i don't know how it works with the psyche what i do know is the magnetic field that horses have and the impact that horses have that we've seen with our clients is is astounding the every We've time seen it, literally. every single time it astounds me um and i i don't know what else to say other than i cannot believe how it works i'm i still am i allowed to swear am i use my little phrase or not yes you can use your little phrase i'm sure that people will, will, will understand <laughs> <laughs> it's all a bit beyond me i always say it's all a bit of witch fuckery yeah. um <laughs> Because it is. I mean, I love horses. I deal with horses. I know how horses work. I know how their minds work. But seeing how they work in this great sort of orb of, of magnetism, yeah. whatever it is, that connects human and horses, just opens and up. I think this is the thing why I love <laughs> us working together. Apart from I love working with you. We've known each other for over 30 odd years now. You know, my kids are like your kids and your kids are like my kids. So we, we've got history together. But you yeah. are so knowledgeable about the horses. You can read their behaviour like I've never known anybody be able to do. A twitch of an ear or, you know, just anything. You're like, well, now they've done, you know, they've, they've done that. This is what that means. And to me, it's phenomenal. And when you're doing it, you'll say to the person, they've got the hands on, do you know what I mean? And they've kind of linked to the breathing and all this sort of stuff. And then you'll just say, you know, what's your intent? What are you thinking? You know, kind of put it out there, what it is that you want from this. And the horse and will the physically react to their thinking. It's amazing. Mm. It is. And that, I've just learned that as we've been doing it. It's just, like you said, I know what I'm looking for in a horse to be comfortable and a horse's reaction. Because all they're doing is the horses are behaving as they would almost in their herd yeah. to, the, to the humans that are working with them. And and like you said, then most of the people that we've we've held sessions with, 
have done hands on, but this can be done hands off. It can be done sitting yeah. in the field with them. It can be done standing in the stable with them. And, and everybody starts a little bit skeptical, I think. And everybody starts who's not horsey. You don't have to be horsey because yeah. you don't have to be able to handle horses. No. And people say, like some of the people do remember on the first few ones that we did, well, I can't ride and I don't know how to. Well, you don't have to do that because it's all hands off. It can You can do it outside of the stable, inside of the stable, outside of the arena, inside. Because the horse is freedom to choose and do and respond. I think that's key. the thing. They're not tethered, <laughs> they're not tied up, they're not restricted at all. Yeah. No, their response is key to what the the clients are doing with them and the, what the clients are, are putting out there and what they're receiving. And yeah. it, 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 I suppose for me, the, the amount of people we've seen brought to tears Absolutely. who are joy, chatty, happy, yeah. lovely people, yeah. and then they're brought to tears and they all come out and yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's different. You know, what we do is equine guided therapy. And literally that's we're guided by the response and the reaction from the horses to that's right. the person that we're working with. And it can yeah. often be kind of mixed up with equine assisted therapy, which is more like on the horse for people, yeah. you know what I mean, with disabilities or or things like that the majority of the stuff that we do is on the ground they, there's there's no tacking up yeah. there's, no... there's no intent of mounting ever there's yeah. no intent that's a separately completely separate thing if somebody wanted to get into riding if they're not local i you know i can direct them to somebody who could do that if they're local then yes certainly i can do that with them but yeah. our sessions are mental so yes. here it's with our you know your physiological responses yeah um it's nothing to do with riding and being a horsewoman man yeah. person yeah and it's that connecting up with, and like you, you mentioned it really early on in this about the magnetic field. The horses are big animals. They're majestic. Do you know what I mean? The 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 scary if you don't know enough about them. But yeah. somehow they they just mirror back whatever it is that we're putting there. They'll mirror it back to us, whether that's in their movements, their behaviour, the feeling, whatever it is. Do I? I'm just amazed by it every single time that we do this. We, we've had a number of clients who, when they've been going through sessions, you, you, you get a feel for people who aren't really opening up and they don't want to open up. And there's a few spring to mind who've kind of gone, I'm not into therapy. I've come along with my friend or I've come along with my mom or my mate yeah. or whatever. And you kind of think, OK, that's fine. Yeah, Just enjoy absolutely. it. Yeah. Yeah. And then at the end of it, they're asking us questions. They want to know why. They can very often, when you do your psyche bit afterwards, um, they'll go, wow, I wasn't expecting that. Now I know why I did that. Now I know what I need to do about that. Um, the, like I say, the emotional rush that a lot of them get from it always astounds me. Yeah. Because that, I think, is what people aren't expecting. The amount of people who genuinely are tearful yeah. and genuinely get release yeah. um, or find, you know, they can go somewhere with it. Um, another young lady springs to mind that was having a lot of internal problems with a, a stomach area and things like that and we didn't she not did not open that up at all to us yeah. but after the session I asked her about she said to me what about this why is that I said well for me x y and z was happening and she just looked and she said yeah she said I'm having all sorts of problems there and that's well we didn't know that we didn't know it beforehand the horse knew and yeah. that's where they were going every time to her um, and that's it I can distinctly remember one where you were saying you know set your intent and look at you know what it is that you want out of this session and literally instantaneously the horse kind of whipped around and just looked and it was as if it was listening to what she was what? thinking <laughs> exactly yeah it was what are you saying and, and sometimes you know you're saying to them it's okay you know the horse won't take on board any more than what it can deal with or whatever and they'll literally they, they'll drop their head and they're still and then they'll just shake as if they've took it on Shake board it and they're, they're just you know shaking it off and getting rid of it and it's just like yeah it's magic and Which you know the, the, yeah exactly and the way that we do it is you, you know we, we sort of ground the people when they first come we take them for a walk out in nature just so that they can get in the zone and everything and then you know we we let them know what's going to happen and how it's going to work we do you know probably about an hour an hour and a bit maybe you know working with the horse and then there's the the feedback afterwards where I do a bit more of my stuff so we make sure that everybody's back grounded and they've come back down to earth not necessarily with a bang but they're back in the here and now and then they go off and, you know, the messages that we get back after this lasts for 
weeks. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's yeah. not a, a one hit wonder. It's it yeah. fills up the the bucket for quite a while. Yeah. I remember again one one particular lady who kind of was a workaholic, high powered job. Yeah. <clears throat> all the rest of it and came back to me a few days later and said I can't believe she said how well I've slept since then she said the things I've done and got ticked off my list but easily ticked off my list not stressful I've managed to get through my work without the hassle of what she was classing as stress um she didn't go into great detail but she did tell me a few things that she was doing that she wasn't expecting to have done and did it and she said I just felt like somebody had recharged me she said, I just felt like I'd been plugged in and I could go on a straight road and get everything done that I needed to do almost thoughtlessly without having to make a massive effort to do it. She said, I slept like I've never slept. Um, and yeah, and that's that's empowering. And it's like I say, I'm, I'm not anything psyche. No. I don't do any of that. I was, yeah. And her response in with the horse as well, she was one of the ladies that was brought to tears. And didn't know why, and looked yeah. at me and said, "Why am I crying? What am I doing? That's why it. Crying? Yeah, I think it was a shock to her as much know. as it was to us. <laughs> I don't really know. That's not my field, but keep doing whatever you're doing because he's not yeah. bothered. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that's it. And they, they do. They take it on board. The the it's amazing. And you know, you you've got your own yard. You've got horses. Do you know what I mean? On the yard or whatever. And you kind of hand picked the ones that you wanted to work with originally, and the ones that you thought would be really good turned out to not be that good and the ones that you thought wouldn't be that good in this sort of a situation went above and beyond and were absolutely amazing yeah but there's just no yeah you know and we go usually in the stable sometimes we take people in individually but sometimes there's two people in there and the horses go to whoever they want to they're they're not forced into doing anything some get all Mm -hmm. the attention and others get none you know, and they literally turn the body away from them. For and they'll go with the leaders and they react like that as well. You know, if there's a need, yeah, they'll, they'll go and take it. It's almost like, come on. Yeah. Harry yeah. the Hugger springs to mind. He's on one of our pictures. That's who, it. Well, he's, he, I don't know if you can see over there, if you're watching this on, on at YouTube or whatever, there's a poster there and he literally hooks people yeah. in and hugs them. It's phenomenal, you know, the way that they respond and react but yeah it's all it's all it, it's just it's on a massive growth in this country now because I think it's starting to really get get a burn and get a run and it's it's just really allowing people to connect with something outside of a human yes and properly connect everybody's used to doing it with dogs and things like that but it's a different level it's quite quite different with a horse yeah. and I think like you said you they're magnificent they're big the beasts are scary yeah but to a lot of people that can be really empowering to be up and close to something that big yeah and then to be welcomed in as well exactly and, you know we've worked out in the open sort of in the paddock or whatever and they've been again off the they're not held or anything but once they've kind of connected if you will they'll they'll follow you and you know you got people to walk and the horse would follow them and then stop and the horse would stop and then set off again and it's just you know to to feel that connected with something that yeah. kind of listens to you. You can't force them to do any of this stuff. It's all their free will. It's it's amazing. And the people... Go on. I was going to say, I always think horses, when they look at you, there's always a connection straight yeah. to the eye. They look at you straight in your eye, and it goes all the way down and in. They see and can... through to your soul, yeah, literally. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can feel that there straight away. Yeah. And, you know, we, the horses have been part of our lives as human beings for hundreds of years. You know, yeah. that connection has always been there. There is something magical about it. And I think they're only just starting to look at scientifically, you know, how this works, that connection with people and, and using it, particularly in this country, is starting to be more up and coming now. But you know, like all therapists in this country they're all starting to become more accepted it was a thing not to be you know it was an american there's a wasn't it you know everybody's in therapy well therapy doesn't have to be like we've said before behind a desk sitting on a couch talking to a doctor you know my therapy is out with my horses every day i'd be a raving nutter i'm sure other people's therapy might be a bottle 
yes, somebody else's yeah. therapy might be an injection it might be drugs it could be whatever yeah. but therapy is a whole ball game do you know what I mean and and therapy in this country has started to be accepted much more widely as not so much as a need but as a right almost as a as should be you should be doing this it, it's self-care yeah Why and I was reading something not? online earlier on and I think you know like insurance companies are starting to take on board now equine guided therapy as a form of therapy which I think is brilliant yeah. You know, and horses don't judge. They don't care what you did yesterday or an hour before. They're very much in the moment and pick up yeah. on your energy in that moment. You know, so it, it works for people that are stressed and overwhelmed, they're anxious. You know, we've thought about trying to get into working with ex-military and, you know, veterans with PTSD, you know, kids with autism. The, the, it, across the field, I don't think there's anybody really that can't work. They can't benefit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, family therapy, you know, working. We've even thought about doing, you know, team building for, for businesses yeah. or whatever using the horses. It's literally the world is their oyster. Or they're stable. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and I just wanted to mention before we, we, we kind of finish on this, that, you know, in November, we are going to be doing a session at Bob's um, conference that he's doing in sale all about equine guided therapy. We've got two hours where we're going to be talking about this. Two hours to bore everybody witless. Which is interesting <laughs> because it's, it's something that neither one of us have done. So if you want to come along and do that, then buy a ticket off Bob. I'm sure he'll be advertising it on the website or whatever. But yeah, yeah. we will be there um, talking about the things that we've been sharing some information on today. Yeah, we will. So yeah, you can you can contact Julie um, through equineguidedtherapy.com if you wanted to know anything more about this. But yeah, just just check it out check out equine guided therapy and see what you think so thank you so much for coming on this julie and being a guest um yeah all right speak to you all soon okie doke take care see you Bye. Bye. <laughs> you've been listening to the therapy show behind closed doors podcast we hope you enjoyed the show don't forget to subscribe and leave us a review We'll be back next week with another episode.